Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you three simple ways to improve your LinkedIn profile to enable you to get more potential work and potential clients out of the social media LinkedIn. My name is Carl from Buzz Website Design and it's our job to help you to reach more potential clients typically through your online channels. So, okay, unless you've been living under a rock for a little while, LinkedIn is the world's biggest business to business social media. They tell us that they have 350 million people on this social media and to be honest that makes it the world's largest business to business professionals database. And that would be the reason why Microsoft played £18 billion for it, even though uh, LinkedIn really hadn't made a great deal of money up until that point. So, there's a whole heap of stuff you can do with LinkedIn, but most people get their uh, LinkedIn profile completely and totally wrong. So I'm just going to cover these three simple things that you can do, and it'll take just a few minutes to fix, that could really make a difference to your effectiveness uh, when somebody takes a look at your profile on LinkedIn. So that's enough for now, and I'll talk to you at the end. Okay, so here we're going to have a look at my profile. Um, and we're just going to cover three really quick and easy things that can make a big difference to your LinkedIn profile's rankings in the LinkedIn search engine, because it is a really big search engine, but also um, make it a little bit clearer for those who um, are searching for products and services to make a decision quickly as to whether you are worth talking to or worth getting in touch with. So, first things first. The, um, what we've tried to do very early on uh, is be very clear about what it is we do and how we can help. And this starts right here, which is your profile description. And there's a number of things happening right here that cover two of the um, things which are the points that I'm going to cover. And the first one is this one here. We get you customers online. That's what we aim to do. Um, with our clients. We want to get you more business online through your website and through your online marketing channels. So very clear about what it is. That's a benefit, what's known as a benefit statement. So in other words, if somebody comes and looks at my profile, they'll say, they'll see quite quickly, this is what we do. This is what we can offer you and this is what we want to do for you were you to become a client. So also, we described the, the benefits of what it is and the, the things where we can help uh, with respect to a website uh, and also list a handful of other things that we can help with uh, in our profile. So be clear about what it is that you can do in terms of results for your potential clients. Don't be woolly. Don't shove it with a lot of jargon. Just be clear about what it is you do and how you can help. Because ultimately, people always buy because there's a reason in it for them um, for buying from you or anyone else. The next one is, is a biggie, and this uh, goes back to much of my marketing and all, a lot of the marketing talks that I give um, I often revolve around this, and it's all about contact details. Give people the opportunity to get in touch with you easily. Um, and I've seen LinkedIn profiles where there are no, I mean, I repeat, no contact details available um, to you other than sending someone a message through LinkedIn. Now, I don't know about you, but I see the LinkedIn, my LinkedIn profile as a mini website. And would you not put your contact details on your website? Of course you would. You would make it easy for people to be able to get in touch with you, and that's what we recommend all the time with all of our clients. So why wouldn't you do that on your LinkedIn profile? So, for example, there's two ways we want people to get in touch. The first one is to pick up the phone, give us a call right here, and also go to our website to take a look at what it is we're about. Really, really simple stuff. Doesn't cost you anything to do, but don't be one of those people on LinkedIn who doesn't show their, your, your contact details. Because ultimately, you wouldn't put out an advert without putting uh, contact details on there. Your LinkedIn profile is an advert. Make sure that your contact details are clear. And finally, and this really is a, is a big deal, and it comes back to sim the simplest thing about marketing, and that's make sure that you're clear about your target market, and make sure that you try and get that across in your LinkedIn profile. As it says here, right up front, websites for small businesses and the self-employed. We don't do bigger projects. We don't take on big development projects. We don't do websites for medium size or big businesses. We want to focus on our target market, which is small businesses and the self-employed. 
So we, I've put it up here at the beginning again in the title of my profile and right here as well at the beginning of the description. I don't want people from large blue chip companies coming to me and asking if we can do a website project for them. We're not interested. It's not that we couldn't, it's just that that's not our target market and that's where we, uh, that's not where we really want to operate. We've got people we can refer to, but um, we just don't do it. And this goes for all types of businesses as well. I mean, uh, uh, if you, for example, sell software into medium-sized businesses, then say so. Uh, you know, if your business has between 50 and 300 staff, then we've got a software solution just for you. Then that way you're clear. So those who are looking at your uh, profile from a micro business would see, well, actually, these guys can't, probably can't help us because we're not in their target market. Now, I know there's an argument that says um, you should try selling everything to everybody, but in my experience, Experience. When you try and do that, you end up selling nothing to anyone, nothing to nobody, um, simply because your marketing then becomes far too broad and too oblique for anybody to really latch on to. If somebody is in your target market, whether that's small businesses, medium-sized businesses, blue chips, uh, international companies, you name it, be clear about what it is you do and who you want to work with. It makes life so much easier for those looking at your profile if they're trying to find out whether you can help them. So there it is, my three quick, uh, quick tips for just improving your LinkedIn profile. Probably, I promise you it'll make a difference, um, but go away and do it, and I'll catch you later. Okay, so I really hope that was useful and that you can go away and do something. Is I'd be interested in hearing about what it is you're going to do um, or what you've done in the comments below. So please let me know um, when you've done some stuff or your thoughts on this. But just to quickly recap, make sure that in the title you tell people how it is you can help or the kind of things that you do for clients in terms of results. Also, make sure that your contact details are not just in the contact bit, but also in your profile description as well. And also finally, and this is kind of a big deal, especially if you work B2B and you work for a particular segment of businesses, make sure you're clear on what your target market is. If you're a consultant for big businesses, say so. Don't just say you're a consultant. If you work specifically for tiny businesses and self-employed as we do, then make sure that you're clear about who it is you're aiming for so there's no ambiguity. But anyway, I really appreciate you watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We do one of these videos roughly once a week and YouTube will kindly let you know when we've done one. Um, so thank you very much for watching again. That's it from me. Bye for now.